And hello everyone, Bandita here with case number 12. We're going to take Chief, uh, the Chief up on her offer to do another case and recapture more of these vile criminals. So let's get started. Let's see where we're heading next. Your next stop in time is the 16th century in the heart of Central America. The century's most important Aztec ceremony should be starting right about now. But instead of worshiping, there's just a lot of worrying. Better see what's shaking. Here comes your good guide for this trip, Antiquity. No one knows ancient empires like Anne, so you're in good hands. Okay, good yeah. Luck and good searching. Thanks, Chief. See you soon. Traveling has got to be my favorite pastime. Okay, Crime Stopper. The year is 1519, and we're in Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire in Central America. Looks like Montezuma, ruler of the empire, is right over there. Tenochtitlan. Oh, please excuse my casual appearance. My formal feather headdress is gone. Oh, no. Like Carmen's time crook has been at work. Let's find out more. All right. Let's open the Chronopedia so I can make sure I get this spelling mark. Tenochtitlan. Aztec Empire. Okay. We're in 1519. Some fun facts. Sacred calendar. Bean counters, marketplace. Montezuma. Not so fun fact. <laughs> oh, his death is not certain. Huh, interesting. All right. Let's close that. Make sure there's not a common note laying around somewhere. Codex, cocoa bean pot. All right, let's talk to Montezuma, see what's going on. Who stole his headdress and how we can help him. Greetings, my friends. If that headdress doesn't turn up soon, heads are going to roll. All right, let's do the dialogue as usual. I am Montezuma, ruler of the mighty Aztecs. All the land around bows under my dominion. I'm preparing for an important event, the Aztec Fire Ceremony. Two years, our solar calendar and our ceremonial calendar line up. Tonight is that night. If I don't perform the proper rituals while wearing my special headdress, the sun will burn out. You are in the island city of Tenochtitlan. From Tenochtitlan. here, I rule the Aztec Empire and all its riches. Tenochtitlan. You should visit our great outdoor market. There, you'll find whatever your heart desires. We Aztecs make no sacrifices, at least not in the marketplace. You can buy cocoa beans, fur, feathers, gold. It's one-stop shopping. Nice. Sounds fun. A thief heisted my royal headdress and headed out of here. If I don't get it back, I can perform the rituals tonight properly, and the world will come to an end. Uh-oh. I could make another headdress, but the feather worker who makes my feather clothes has flown the coop. Oh, it's Lord. always hard to find good help. Oh, where can he be? 
Yes, go to the feather worker's place, see what materials are there, then find whatever else you need to make some headway on my headwear. Mm-hmm. Those pots contain cocoa beans, which we Aztecs use to make our favorite drink. Hot, Hot chocolate. chocolate. We love cocoa beans so much that we use them like money. Nice. Nothing special. You are welcome to take them. Okay, thanks. Okay, take both. Ooh. You are welcome to borrow that bird whistle, but you'll have to put it back if you want to borrow another. Ah. So we'll have to come back for that. Ooh, Carmen note. Ah, my prize pet snakes. We Aztecs fear snakes a little, but we also worship them. A winged serpent is the symbol of my people. Cool. All right. That's part of Carmen's note. Our thief obviously slithered through recently. Yeah. Nab the headdress, go full throttle. I'll soon return like Quetzalcoatl. I know I'm <laughs> saying that completely wrong, but. That book is called a codex. It's a collection of symbols written on deer skin or tree bark. The Aztecs borrowed this writing style from a neighboring culture, as they had no writing system of their own. Hmm. That big stone is covered in symbols representing myths and rituals of Aztec life. It's called the Calendar Stone. Imagine hanging that on the refrigerator. Okay, so we can interchange these bird whistles. So let's go find the feather workshop. See what's going on. What a mess! Some Whoa. scatterbrain left things scattered all over the place. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Nah, that gold deserves to be framed. Ah. Hmm, that gold nugget seems out of place there. So, are we supposed to... Nope. Let's use it on the headdress instead. But we don't even know how it goes. Do we go into the marketplace and find out? We're off to the marketplace. Ooh. Maze, feathers... Let's talk to the merchant. Good afternoon. Perhaps a trade for you today? No idea. I am Iktomato, the best trader in this great marketplace of Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan. Why everyone comes to the Tenochtitlan market? It's the place to be. Traders arrive daily from the farthest corners of the Aztec Empire. Cool. Ah, you obviously have good taste if you're admiring my goods. I'm always looking for a sweet trade. Hmm. I have delicious maize grown right here in Tenochtitlan, and gorgeous green quetzal feathers. Anything tickle your fancy? I don't know yet. Cocoa beans are the magic item around here. I'll trade for them anytime. They're quite valuable and delicious, too. Okay, we got two of those. Corn? Oh, you mean my maize. Maize is our most important food. It is grown on chinampas. Chinampas. Chinampas are man-made islands. We Aztecs use them because the moist soil is good for growing maize. Indeed. I need to keep a close eye on that maize or hungry birds will eat it right up. <laughs> okay, so we do have... Excellent. What would you like to trade for? Uh, feathers? Ooh, Carmen now. <laughs> Carmen note, you really can find everything in this marketplace. Then keep in mind these special words, the hiding place that's for the birds. So right here with the maze. Temple. Those terraced steps give that temple a classic Aztec look. Okay, so... Bye, come back soon. We're supposed to do this headdress thing, but... We don't back have... To the palace any notion on where goodbye oh 
bird feeder? I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, that's the eagle. Whoa! For a big bird, that eagle has a pretty small call. So we need to get that feather from the blue bird. Okay. All right, back to the palace. Eagle is orange. Let's see if blue. Goodbye. Oh my god. my whistling, I guess. That's not it either. Okay, um. All right, back to the palace. Oop. Goodbye. I don't oh. think Polly wants a cracker today. <laughs> All right, back to the palace. Let's try the green one. Goodbye. Oops. Nope, that's the owl. A hoot for a toot. Seems fair. All right, back to the palace. So there's two left. Uh, I think the yellow and the red one is left. Goodbye. Oh, so hmm. he wants the maze. Katinga didn't stop by for long. Oh, I gotta go get All right, maze back to for the, the other cocoa bean pot. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. This one goes here. Nope. Bad fit. How do you know? Ah. Okay, let's try and get some of this done while we're here. Nope. Bad fit. Sorry. Nope. Bad Oops. fit. That's my bad. Wait a minute. Nope. Bad fit. How is that a bad fit? Nope. Bad fit. I don't understand how that's a bad fit. Okay. Okay. And then we have We're off to the marketplace. Marketplace trade this for corn. Excellent. What would you like to trade for? Corn, please. Thank you. Bye. Come back soon. Hopefully I don't have to come back soon. <laughs> Back to the palace. Goodbye. Okay, now put this put here feed into the feeder, and then pull the whistle. <laughs> Thank you. Good thinking. The blue katinga had to drop that feather before it could munch up any maize. Thank you. Let me grab that. All right, back to the palace. Go to the headdress area. Farewell. And we have the last one. And now, do we place the golden nuggets here? Hmm, that gold nugget Oops. seems out of place there. Okay, maybe here. And this one. Hmm, that gold nugget seems out of place there. Why? Well placed, there we Detective. Go. That feather headdress looks perfect. It's just what Montezuma needs to start the Aztec fire ceremony. All right, so we grab this and the final piece of the Carmen note. You've got the final piece of the Carmen note. Yay, yay. All right, so let's read it all. Nab the headdress, go full throttle. I'll soon return like Quetzalcoatl. Then keep in mind these special words, a hiding place that's for the birds. Wait for me when thieving's done beneath Aztec symbol for the sun. Mmm. I'll activate the time cuffs so we can put that pickpocket in the pen. Aztec Back to the palace. For the sun. All right, let's give this to him. 
first. You have my eternal thanks. With this royal headdress waving on my head, I'll have the world fluttering at my feet. Time to start the ceremony. You're welcome. Okay, Aztec symbol for the sun. It's not... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Okay, so the solar calendar. That should fit. The Oh, the eagle was a symbol of the life-given sun god. So the eagle, where the birds are. Okay, eagle. That crook must be hiding in a different nook. Oh... All right, back to the palace. I don't think it's... I think it's the sun calendar. That crook must be hiding in a different nook. No? Hold on. Aztec symbol for... Hiding place as for the birds. I don't get it. The criminal must be dug in somewhere else. Unless it's outside at the marketplace. The criminal must be dug in somewhere else. The suspect's nowhere to be seen. Hold on. No. A hiding place that's for the birds. Aztec symbol for the sun. All right, back to the palace. The suspect's nowhere to be seen. We're off to the marketplace. Okay, so it is by Bye. the Come back soon. Okay, so I'm completely off here. Okay, nothing here. Back to the palace. All right, so I, I was right. The criminal must be dug in somewhere else. The eagle is the Aztec there we go. symbol for the sun. So it's time to go super But I did put it on the eagle. Maybe you didn't want me to put it directly on the eagle, but on the actual We've squashed bug zapper blanket. flat time. Bug zapper, hello again. Alright, bugs, it's back to Acme headquarters for you. They'll need to break out the bug repellent. Alright, you've got the zap on me. But you'll never catch the buzz about Carmen's real plan. Yes! Bugs Zapper is behind bars again. Montezuma is under a new headdress, and the Aztecs have another day in the sun, all because of you, Detective. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. You've enabled the Aztec culture to fully spread its wings and have a permanent influence on Mexican history and culture. Good going. But it looks like there's fresh villainy ahead. Can you take another case right now? Yes, I will. That next case will be case number 13, but we're ending here with case number 12. Found out some pretty interesting things and definitely recaptured Bug Zapper. So you know where to find um, me on social media to know when this is posted. Have a great one and enjoy your day. Bye now.